What's going on guys? The start of a new year and you know what that means. It's time for the hot team of the year. EA just released their nominees for NHL 23. So I'm going to be giving you guys my picks today. If you didn't know, the hot team of the year cards are the best in the game. They come out usually in like the low to mid 90s, but come playoff time, they'll be at 99 throughout all the various upgrades. So first off guys, my forward picks. Uh, I think this year they've actually changed it up. Doesn't have to be left wing, center, right wing. It's just three forwards in total. So if you didn't know the way the team of the year works is it's the best players from the 2022 calendar year so not so far this season not last season it's like january 2022 to december 22. now luckily i actually saw a graphic released by the nhl that shows who had the most points over the 2022 year no surprise Connor mcdavid there 143 points so obviously he's my first pick at forward unanimous decision if he's not in the team of the year I just don't know what's happening. Um, after that, Matthews had the most goals. Now, he wasn't top five in points, but he had the most goals. I feel like you probably have to give it to Austin Matthews, um, especially just kind of how hot he was at the end of last season. Start of this year, he's definitely been slow, but I mean, leading all NHL players in goals for 2022, I feel like we got to give him that spot. Now, the third spot, honestly, I was going to give to Matthew Kachuk, because if you guys look there, Matthew Kachuk was second in points behind only Connor McDavid. Matthew Chuck isn't even a nominee. Uh, the only Florida nominee there is Alexander Barkov. So that was kind of crazy to me. So I was thinking if Kachuk's not a nominee, maybe I'd go with Goudreau, who was third in points. Goudreau's also not a nominee, but Patrick Laine somehow is. So um, definitely interesting to me, uh, leaving those two guys off the list. Um, after those two, in terms of total points, you actually have a tie between Mitch Marner and Nikita Kucherov, both 118. So I was thinking about it. Who deserves it more? Obviously, Martin just had that insane point streak with the Maple Leafs, but Nikita Kucherov did make the Stanley Cup final last year with the Lightning. And not only that, but he was actually the highest scorer in those playoffs behind only McDavid, Dreisel, Kel McCarr. McDavid's already on the list. Dreisel surprisingly wasn't top five in points for 2022. Like, he must have just popped off the beginning of 2021 for that season. And then this year, he's been doing really good. So he must have also slowed down at the end of the 2021-2022 season. Like, that's the only way that works. And then after him, Kale McCarr, I'll talk about here in just a sec. So uh, because Kucherov, you know, had such a good playoff there, I feel like that's a good tiebreaker for him to get in over Mitch Marner. Now, if EA decides to go with Marner or even Dreisaitl, for instance, I'd be fine with that. I feel like both guys are also very worthy. Now, next up here, guys, we're actually looking at the defensemen. So we're picking two players here on defense. I think the obvious first choice, I just mentioned his name, Kale McCarr. In 2022, he won the Stanley Cup, the Conn Smythe, and the Norris. As well, he was second in points among defensemen last year behind only Roman Yossi. Uh, this year, he's like top five. Without a doubt, 100%. Kale McCarr makes this team of the year as one of the defensemen. Now, the second one was actually a pretty tough choice. Obviously, Moritz Sider plays for my Red Wings, won the Calder, but uh, to start this year, so like the end of 2022, hasn't looked quite as good. You got Adam Fox, of course, won the Norris Trophy the year before and has had a really solid 2022. Um, Eric Carlson even has been amazing to start this season. But last year's season, which of course counts for this, he was pretty mediocre. I think I'm going to give it to the guy I just mentioned, Roman Yossi, especially since like he led all defensemen in points last year and he scored most of those after January. Like I remember looking at the Norris odds and Cam Lacar was like the heavy front runner, no one near him. And then Yossi just started popping off like multi-point game after multi-point game, just tore it up from January till the end of the season. So I feel like because he went off so hard there in the beginning of 2022, and he's been quite good uh, to start this year. He's I think close to a point per game. I would have to give it to Roman Yossi, but again, that second defenseman start definitely close. Finally here, guys, you have to pick a goaltender. I feel like this is probably the easiest choice after McDavid and McCarr, and that's Igor Shesterkin. Won the Vezda Trophy last year. He put up the best goalie numbers we've seen, I think, in a decade. Now, obviously, all of those weren't just in 2022, as I mentioned. Uh, they were the whole, you know, last season. He's also been quite good to start out this year. He had really good numbers in the playoffs for the Rangers. For me, he's the obvious choice here, especially, too, since Vasilevsky's not even an option. You gotta go Shesterkin. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering, when is the team of the year gonna be in packs? Well, week one releases this Friday, January 6th, and then week two releases next Friday, January 13th. Week one is the men's team of the year. Week two is actually the women's team of the year. So next year, guys, I'm actually gonna give you my picks for the women's team of the year. I will say for me, um, in regards to women's hockey, the biggest event by far is the Olympics, which of course happened in 2022. So my picks are gonna be very biased towards the Olympics. And what makes it really easy actually is you have like an MVP team from the Olympics. So I'm just gonna go with that, especially because I'm Canadian, maybe a bit biased here. So my first pick is actually the NHL 23 cover girl, Sarah Nurse. She was a scoring leader at the Olympics. My second pick, Captain Team Canada, Marie Philippe Poulin. She was only one point behind Nurse for the scoring race. And then my third pick, MVP of the Olympics, is Brianne Jenner. So pretty easy, you know, three forward picks there. Now moving on to the defense, the two players selected the all-star team were Canada's Claire Thompson and Finland's Jenny Hurioski. Hopefully I said that right. So those are gonna be my two picks for team of the year. Now in terms of the goaltender, it was actually the Czech goal 
Cooley, who isn't an option here. So again, I'm just gonna go with the homer pick. I'm gonna take Anne Renee de Bien. I mean, she won a gold medal, so I feel like it'd be pretty hard to argue with that. So there's my picks, guys, for both week one and week two of the team of the year. I should mention too, this video is sponsored by EA Sports. We gotta give a huge shout out to them. If you guys wanna buy NHL 23 right now, it's actually on sale, 60% off. I know some of you guys are probably waiting for a big sale because AAA games are expensive at full price. At 60% off, it's actually a pretty solid deal. So if you haven't gotten it yet, I would highly recommend going and picking it up. And if you're on Xbox Series X, maybe I'll match up with you on Hut, or even better yet, you can download my new custom roster I'm working on.